Oh, hello. This is the OnePlus 11. And it has a very capable camera. But just apart from just, you know, shooting your regular video and a regular photo, what can it do? What can it do to improve your experience with the camera? Make it a little different. That's what this video is all about. Today, we're gonna to talk about all of the different tips and tricks that you can use in order to click better pictures and better videos from your OnePlus 11. So without wasting any time, this is Gorang. You're watching Guiding Tech. Let's get started. First up, the ultra wide camera on this phone is incredible. It is 48 megapixels and the shots are absolutely amazing. But the ultra wide can also be used to click close up macro images. To toggle the macro modes, open the camera app in the photo mode and then tap on the three dot icon in the top right corner. You'll see an option for auto macro. From here, you can set the macro to off or for it to work automatically. If it's not enabled, then you can enable it from here. And then all you need to do is point the camera up close to a small object. The camera will automatically switch to macro mode, allowing you to take detailed macro shots with ease. Next up, taking the videos from this phone is incredible because the video quality is also pretty great. But you can also enhance the audio quality that is recorded in those videos. This phone can switch to a stereo setup for recording audio. And whenever you zoom in on a subject, it can also enhance the audio of that particular subject as well. To enable all of this, just open the camera app in photo or video mode and then tap on the three dot icon in the top right corner. From here, tap on settings. Now scroll down to video section and tap on audio effects. Toggle the setting from standard to smart and that's it. All of the audio features that I talked about will be enabled. Next up, even though you get a 50 megapixel main camera and a 40 megapixel ultra wide camera, the cameras are not by default clicking images in those resolutions. What actually happens is that it is clicking all of those pictures and then taking the data from all of the megapixels, binning the pictures down to a smaller size with all of the data recovered to just give you a shot that looks great while also not taking up much space. But there is a feature in the camera where you can just click 48 and 50 megapixel shots from the cameras on this phone. To do that, open the camera app in photo mode and then tap on the three dot icon in the top right corner. Here, enable the toggle next to high res. Now all of your shots will be captured in full resolution. So no matter whether it's the main lens or the ultra wide lens, the pictures will be clicked in the maximum resolution available. Now the branding that you'll see on this huge camera bump says Hasselblad, which is an expensive camera brand, which has partnered with OnePlus in developing the camera. Another thing that you get because of the Hasselblad branding and the collaboration between OnePlus and Hasselblad is the fact that you can click RAW plus images, which basically means that whenever a picture is clicked in RAW plus mode, all of the AI enhancements, the color enhancements will be there along with the great dynamic range. But this image will be saved in a DNG format. So you can just open it in Lightroom and then edit everything and just mess with the picture to make it look truly like what you want it to look. So to use RAW plus mode, just swipe left on the bottom ribbon until you see the mode option. Here, tap on Pro to enter Pro mode. Once inside the Pro mode, tap on the JPG icon at the top and switch it to RAW plus. And that's it. All of the shots that you capture now will be saved in the DNG format with HDR enhancements. Now, when we're talking about Pro mode, it's not only limited to just images, you can shoot Pro videos as well. So while shooting the video, you can control the ISO so the shutter speed, and you can even shoot videos in the log format to just be able to color grade it after you've shot it. To enable pro video mode, swipe left on the bottom ribbon until you see the more option. Next, tap on film mode. And that's it. Now you have full control over the device and you can record the video in the way that you like. Next up, a trend that is just everywhere these days is shooting portrait videos from your camera. And OnePlus 11 for that matter does come with a great portrait video mode. To enable it, open the camera app and swipe the bottom ribbon to switch to video mode. Now tap on the lens icon to open the depth of field settings. From here, you can adjust the bokeh strength of the portrait video you wish to record. Once done, just tap anywhere on the screen to hide this menu and go back to video recording mode. Now you can easily record the portrait videos from your OnePlus 11. But do note that this mode only comes in the main lens and does not come in the ultra wide lens. Next up, the night mode on the OnePlus 11 is extremely capable. But another addition on top of the night mode is also that you can use filters to just click some great night mode images as well. To use these filters, switch to night mode by swiping on the bottom ribbon. Now tap on the filter icon. You can now switch between various filters to get the unique styles for your shots. And that's pretty much it. You can now use the OnePlus 11 to its fullest potential with its camera and make use of all the features that I've just told you about. 
If you like this video, like it and maybe consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.